Olá amigos, eu sou Chris da Playstation Stores, bem-vindos a Guacamele. Uh, that's all Spanish that I remember from high school. So yeah, this is Guacamele. Uh, let me get out of the final area here so you guys can see some of the beginning of the game. But yeah, this is a new game from Drinkbox Studios. Uh, it's $15 cross-buy on the PlayStation Network, so that means you get it for Vita and PS3. And it is a sort of Metroidvania brawler sort of game, I guess, is the best way to put it. Your Juan here, who is a, a humble agave farmer from uh, the city of, what was it, Pueblo, Pueblo Lucho, and uh, he was childhood friends with the daughter of the president of wherever this takes place, I guess, a fictionalized Mexico, and she gets kidnapped by the evil skeleton guy, I forget his name, I think it's Charo or something. Here, I know how I can check, this probably is a... Uh, I think it's uh, like Taro Galaka. But yeah, he takes her and kills you in the process, send you to the world of the dead. And from there, uh, you have to get back to the world of the living by getting a luchador mask. And eventually you get all sorts of crazy powers, like uh, all these different moves I'm doing here. So they don't tease you at all, like they do in some like Castlevania Metroid games. It's all you gain moves by playing through different areas and unlocking them through hitting these statues. So I guess I'll show some of the combat since that's probably the deepest part of the game. We'll go to the Caverna del Pollo. Uh, I'm playing on hard mode right now as you can see so the enemies are a little bit tougher than normal and um, they changed up a little bit. I think they changed some of the stuff with some of the bosses where they added different uh, enemy types to them and stuff like that. But these are your save points as well as a shop where you can buy different moves. You can buy a... Uh, much like a Zelda, if you find a heart piece, uh, you have to find three of them and it'll give you some more meter for your health. Same with the stamina gauge. Um, if you get three stamina pieces, you'll get another bar, a little square for your stamina meter. They can either be bought from that store or they can be found throughout the game. Uh, this is a teleporter which takes you to the any order that's another one of these totems that you've activated. So uh, let's get into it. So your basic uh, gameplay is just uh, combos and throw and grapples. You can throw between dimensions as well as uh, execute these different like sort of special moves. There's a whole like section where you can learn how to do different combos within game. So some things you want to get like air juggle them and you can hit them across like that or all sorts of stuff. There's really a lot you can do with the combo system in the game which is pretty refreshing. And it doesn't make it boring at all. Like I'm always having fun doing combos and stuff like that. It's actually the most like deep part of the game too. I came in didn't thinking it would just be a mashing, like hitting a square a bunch of times. But you really have to be, uh, you have to plan out your moves eventually because they'll start adding like uh, barriers on some enemies and uh, there'll be enemies in different dimensions that you have to swap between to kill. And you have to be mindful of that stuff all the time when you're playing. Which makes it a, real good, a really good challenge too, when you're having, on hard mode especially, when you're having to swap and manage enemies between different dimensions. As well as, uh, there's a dodge here, so you can get a, this guy try to attack me, I can dodge out of the way. You can see you get little, a little buff meter, like you get a little shield whenever you dodge correctly. But yeah, I don't know if they're going to show it in this, this, uh, this cavern here, but uh, eventually enemies do get different colored, um, they get different colored shields around them, I guess, and you have to hit them with a different special move to break the shield, and then you'll be able to finally start attacking them. So again, the special moves are there's an uppercut here with circle. Uh, if you do in, if you do a, like a left or right in circle, you get a dash. If you're in the air and hit down, you do a frog splash. There's also just a normal hitting circle and doing a headbutt. And then besides that, you can uh, grab onto walls in this game, and if you hit up at any time when you're on a wall, you do a little dash up the wall as well as you hit left or right you can do a fly and those can hurt enemies while you're doing them as well so there's a bunch of different enemy types in the game and each have a different weakness uh, whenever they're red like that that means they can hurt you and you can't dodge so you want to be always trying to hit enemies before they turn red otherwise you're going to be taking damage 
You can, however, throw enemies into enemies when they're red, so the, to break that little damage meter. So you can see that you can do pretty cool combos in the game. It doesn't it doesn't reward you other than you get extra little uh, hit points there, and I think that triggers into the amount of money you earn when you kill the enemies because you have to use the money to buy different items from the store. Well, not items, sorry, but um, you can buy moves. Like there's a let me do one here. There's like a pile driver there. You can kick the enemies. Let me do a kick here. There's a kick and there's one more. Okay, there's a back, like a suplex sort of thing, and then there's a kick. Those are all bot moves from the store. But other than that, it's just gaining the new abilities through uh, unlocking different statues, that sort of thing. Oh. But yeah, it took me about five or so hours to beat on normal, and then another couple hours to get through all the... Find all the chests, unlock everything. And once you do beat um, normal mode, you unlock hard mode, which I'm in right now. And that adds, I guess the enemies take a little bit more damage and they do a little bit more damage to you. That's one thing I noticed. Also, the bosses are a little bit, are really like tough. I don't know if they changed their like AI at all or they added special things to them. It seemed like they added something to two of the bosses where they added more enemy types that are, you have to manage while fighting the boss. However, I was a little disappointed that the final boss was just the same. He, was, he wasn't any harder than he was on normal. They really didn't do anything to switch that up at all. You can kind of like infinite air combo here. I'll try to show you how I'm getting work right now. Oh, dodge. Oh, I'm taking one hit and I'm gone. Oh no, dead. <laughs> Wasn't really paying attention there. Alright, so that's the combat. Uh, I think you've seen enough. I got pretty far. I was close to the end there. I said that was the final room, actually. And when you when you get uh, through these areas, they give you some chests. Uh, you also unlock the double jump. The double jump isn't there from the beginning. So you can see I would have got that heart piece there if I would have finished that challenge. Um, so I guess let's go to a, a world map area. Make sure there's nothing over here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the over map, uh, basically you can travel between either quick travel using the totem things or you can just run through the areas to get to uh, each different section. Based on the map, there are one, two, three, four, about five different zones um, that are, I guess you would say like temples or like dungeon sort of things. But uh, this game also has some PS Vita features that if you're playing on the PS3 version, you can turn the Vita on and go to remote play and it'll act as a mini map. So you can always have the map on your screen. Uh, there's some quests you can do in this area. I don't know if I finished them. Oh, okay, I finished the best enchilada one. Let's see if I did any of the other ones. Yeah, there's a couple different quests. Uh, they give you more items, like they give you more money or uh, things like that. Uh, th I think the one I didn't do here is uh, with the chicken thief, so we can do that real quick. So basically I talked to this one guy and he was like, oh, I'm a, I'm a treasure hunter, blah, 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 and then all this, all my stuff got stolen. So I had to wait a little bit of time and then this chicken came and said, oh, and took something else from him and said, so I have to hunt him down and find him in somewhere in the village. So he's in this house. So then it's just basically like an eye memory test sort of thing to figure out where he is. There's three levels of it. And when you beat him, I think you get a heart piece. I'll do this really quick. If I don't get it, I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I lost it. Oh... All right, one last go. Let 
Nice. I'm the best. Holy byak. <laughs> byak, byak, byak. So here you go. You can see the heart. Getting a heart piece sort of thing. I sort of wish you could see uh, getting the different abilities because it goes like crazy technicolor rainbow explosions seizure warning on the screen. Uh, let's see. What could I do in here? I guess I'll go to the Tula tree and show you the, the treetop, like, platforming hardcore section. And then we will call it a, a video. Yeah, I got about, it took me about 15 hours total to platinum the game. So, take that for what you may. After you beat it the two times, there, the only replay like value there is is for getting the high on the, the leaderboards because the leaderboards are uh, speedrun. There's no like leaderboards for completion or anything like that. It's a uh, speedrun 100%, speedrun normal, speedrun hard mode, and speed mode uh, speedrun hard mode 100%. So back whenever uh, the game wasn't out for the public, I saw one of the I guess testers got about a 55 minute speedrun in the game. So I guess that's a, a sort of time you can shoot for. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Oh nice, you can see a, a barrier I didn't break down here yet. So there's different barriers that are in each of the levels and usually they have something hidden behind them. Like you'll see here. That right there has a heart piece. And you have to backtrack a little bit to get to those. So whenever you... Uh, gain these new abilities you have to come back to different parts of the game to find all the little secrets. There are some pretty well hidden chests in this game. It took me quite a while to find some of them. Like I was dodging around different parts of the levels, jumping from jumping, trying to do like blind jumps to get into different sections. It's, it's pretty fun trying to find all of everything in the game. So there's that. Yeah, the combat is really, it's really, uh, I, at first I thought it was a little bit stiff, but I, then I got a hang of it and I really like how it like handles. Although I did get some, uh, my hands kind of cramped up when playing on Vita, so I did most of my game playing on the PS3. Yeah, the whole light dark thing isn't as big a deal as I thought it would be. Mostly it's just for managing enemies. There, there aren't too many puzzles later in the game. Most of the stuff is just uh, enemy management sort of thing. Uh, come on, get up there. So let's go to the treetops. The treetops is uh, an area in the game where uh, it's basically just platforming puzzles, trying to show different things you can do within the game and switching dimensions to get to different sort of platform areas. I'm not gonna do all of it because it takes quite a long time. And I'm probably going to screw up a bunch doing it, so I'll just try to get as far as I can in one go. Oh. No. Uh, okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Oops. Like, can Chris do this? So you can see here they're doing a bunch of different things with the element, the, the dimension switching. Oh, it's stupid! No. <laughs> uh, one more try, and then I'm gonna call it quits. Cause why do you want to see me fail at this? All right. All right. Sorry, I, I want to get to at least one extra area of this. Alright. Oh, the music is really good, by the way, too. It's sort of like a mix of, like, I don't know, Mexican folk and some other things. To remember how to do this one. Okay, it wasn't that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I lost my double jump. Or my, my punch or something. Alright, yeah, so... There's about there's a bunch of those you have to do. And things like that. So yeah, this is the Tula Trees, another area. This is mostly platforming, there's a couple like enemy fighting, that sort of thing. But yeah, this is Guacamele. It's out now for $15, cross by on PS3 and Vita. We have a review up on the website if you want to read it. It's on psnstores.com. Uh, thanks for watching.